powered by Ford. Hey, what's up, guys? So you know what's best is 3D dying. Well, if you look at this year's CES, when I walk on the show floor, around every corner, there's something in 3D. I mean, even the booth bays are in 3D. Well, this may be just mine my head but anyway um, everything is basically in 3d um, so 3d is definitely here to stay I mean, if you just look at it, the presence and some of the new future uh, devices are going to be coming out especially the big thing this year uh, because it's actually going to be released to the consumer uh, market that's the oled tvs um, lg has the biggest 3d oled tv in the world uh, at 55 inches and that thing just looks phenomenal um, also to lg is really doing a lot of cool stuff if you stop by their booth let me say this if you're here at ces you stop by their booth as soon as you walk in they got this huge massive i don't know how big it is but it's in insanely big 3d wall and they had some of the best 3d i've ever seen in my life yeah hundreds of people just sitting there looking at it and, and people were oohing and on and jumping back and stuff so 3d when done right could definitely be good um but i, I think that you know the fact that a lot of people were calling 3d is uh, even though 3d has been around for years and generations and generations um it, i think it, if it's done right it's definitely gonna be here for a long long, long time and sony also too uh revealed some titanium 3d glasses because one of the big complaints that people have with 3d especially in the home it's not really 3D itself, it's just the, the hardware that you need. You gotta buy glasses. Sometimes they're not comfortable. Which one do you get? Um, the batteries for them, uh, all active shutter, all that, all that crazy stuff that you gotta go through with this. Uh, but Sony has some really cool titanium uh, 3D glasses. They're very, very lightweight. When you put them in your, in your face, you, you basically don't even feel them at all. So that's a, a really good thing for the future 3D in the home. And also to um, uh, NBC, I think announced that for the Olympics uh, this year, they're gonna think it's gonna be over 200 hours of 3D programming for the Olympics that's a lot um, so you'll be able to watch your favorite athletes in the, in the USA hopefully will kick some butt this year in the Olympics uh, in 3D so I mean this is my little take on it because just again walking the show floor this year at CES um, I just think that 3D it's being done right and then now we also have the glasses free 3D, uh, 3D being more being displayed more and that's coming down the pipeline I think 3D is going to be here for a long time but I'm interested to see what you guys think what do you think about 3D it's going to be here for a while you're going to stop use it do you want it in your home leave a comment down below guys and thanks for watching this video guys and I will catch you later peace and now sponsor Ford the Ford Mustang comes equipped with Sync App Link, allowing you to control your favorite mobile apps on your phone through voice commands. NPR keeps you up to date with the news via hourly newscast. Mobile apps, please say a command. NPR News. Use voice commands to select your favorite station, a preferred topic, or from your very own playlist. Just a few examples of how using AppLink lets you keep your hands on the wheel and eyes on the road. Thanks to Ford for powering our CES coverage.